in the movie 2001, Arthur C. Clarke, very high Freemason, gives you the agenda of pre high Freemasonry, not the schmuckdom Freemasonry, but the high stuff. He gives you their agenda and their philosophy and their religion in the movie. In the beginning of the movie, 2001, made in the 1960s, they show you the ink men, you know, the, the hairy guys, supposedly. And, and uh, the, the hairy guys are terrified of the darkness and they still quiver in their caves at night. And in the morning, they go across to the watering hole and they meet this other tribe of ape men. And they shake their fists and so on each other, go through a little dance, a solemn dance. And, um, and then they have a drink and sort of muffle off in their own separate ways. And that's how it's been going on forever. And in, in the little sequences around it, as they're, they're showing you, they show you a pig, you see, it's part of the religion, you understand all this later. And they'll show you a little tree branch shaped like a big snake, you see. And you see all these emblems, but these are actually Masonic emblems, occultic, high, high occultic emblems, you see all through it. And even though the story eventually um, goes into space, it starts with these cavemen, and an obelisk comes down, this, this black obelisk. And um, in the book is, is more detailed because the obelisk pulls each caveman out one by one and makes them jump around and stuff and it's testing them out to see who's got the, the, the best smarts. And it picks one of them and one day at the watering hole instead of going over and shaking their fists and yadding and screaming and then having a drink and going home, this one picks up a bone because they love the, the skull and the crossbones, you know, of masonry, the, the pirate's flag. It picks up a thigh bone and then he smashes his enemy over the water hole there and he kills him and that's, they're telling you that's the right of might the right of might he who will kill is superior <laughs> as they give you religions but being meek and mild they teach another one for themselves progress you see they have a thing called progress they hate something called stagnant civilization arrested civilizations. No, you must have progress. And progress to them is done through those who are willing to kill and become the top chutzpah, the king, king of the ape men. And then it jumps from there into the future, uh, to the year 2001, and, and then a space journey occurs, uh, supposedly on, on the trail of this obelisk that had been on Earth ends up on Jupiter, but it's all occultic, it's nothing to do with space travel. Uh, there's a Masonic initiation in it, you'll see the computer HAL on board the spaceship traveling to Jupiter, kills off two of the guys that are with him, and then tries to kill off the third guy. He, he outsmarts it and disables it, meaning he overcame all the natural laws. HAL is the sun, like halogen, you know, Halcyon, Halcyon the Greeks, HAL. And H A L, one letter after it, each one, and the alphabet is, is I B M. You see, I B M. You speak it as I beam, the beam from the eye, the eye of Ra. The beaming from the eye is between the pyramid, the, the capstone, and the rest of the pyramid. So, so everything is shown to you. It's not necessarily that you understand. Uh, it's only necessary that you think you understand and everybody comes out of these movies chomping away at their, you know, and, well, it's a good movie, what's next? I have no idea what it means. And in 2010, it's a follow-up to the movie and it shows you what's supposed to happen in 2010. And so this big thing at the end where this guy who, who escapes the computer remembers in the next movie, he's timeless, he's ageless, he's become a god because he overcame Halcyon, you see, the sun the natural order, he overcame all the laws, and he's a god, and, and, and a new sun appears in the sky, but as above, so below, so a new sun will appear on earth, a messiah, a being, an entity, whatever it is, that they bring forth to you, with much hullabaloo and fanfare, I'm sure, but they're telling you their system, that they show you their religion, from evolution, which is their belief system, both physical and spiritual, because they do believe in, in re reincarnation, but they don't believe that everybody reincarnates. Your children will be born in a world of two sons. Someday, the children of the new son will meet the children of the old.